So if you have around 20,000 rupees and you have to buy a clean ad-free Android smartphone, what's the two best options? Moto G82, OnePlus Nord CE2 Lite? Well, I've used both the phones and here's a crystal clear video on what to buy. Now, in terms of specs, Moto G82 is better in display, camera specs. As you can see, the processor is the same, but you are not here for specs. You can do that on Amazon. We'll tell you a more practical comparison between both the smartphones. Now, before we get to the interesting part, camera and performance, there are two important things to know. Number one, OnePlus Dot CE2 Lite has a LCD display and Moto G82 has a P-OLED display. Now, of course, you'll be like, Pratik, OLED is better than LCD. Well, yes, it is, but suppose in this scenario, can you guess which phone is A, which phone is B? Comment below. A and B. Now OLED is definitely better than LCD. If you move into low light, dark area, the OLED versus LCD difference is clear. Also, the Moto G82 comes with a P OLED display, plastic OLED. Now in case you don't know, P OLED is similar to AMOLED, it just uses a plastic base instead of glass. But what it leads to, P OLED has less bezels on Moto G82. See, compared to OnePlus Nord CE2 Lite, see the chin. And it also makes the phone thinner. So Nord CE2 Lite is at 8.5 mm, of course. LCD makes phone thicker and Moto G82 is at 7.79 mm and both these phones have a 5000 mAh battery. Now you do get Corning Gorilla Glass 3 protection on Moto G82 and the glass protection on OnePlus Nord CE2 Lite is unknown. OnePlus said it has some OnePlus level glass protection. And number two is stereo speakers. Moto G82 has stereo speakers and hold on. Now, I think the difference is pretty clear or pretty audible. Like it is slightly louder, but the difference in bass that you get from the stereo speakers is really good. And both phones have plastic back and plastic frame. Moto has PMMA glass, but it's like a premium type of plastic. Now, interestingly, both smartphones have Snapdragon 695. Both the phones come with 6 GB LPDDR4X RAM and 128 GB storage on base variant. Now see, Moto G82 has UMCP storage, which is like UFS 2.2 storage, and you get a hybrid micro SD card slot, two SIM or one SIM, one micro SD card. On the other hand, OnePlus Nord CE2 Lite has hybrid SIM card slot. But performance on both phones is more or less the same. To put into numbers, it's more or less the same and to two scores. And even if you play BGMI, it's smooth graphics, ultra or 40 FPS frame rates. And the gameplay is kind of similar. But the main difference comes in camera. You get a 50 megapixel camera on the Moto G82 with OIS. And you get a 50 megapixel main sensor on the Nord CE2 Lite as well. Now, in case you don't know, OIS is where the camera sensor stays stable and the lens moves in. So this way, the shutter can stay open for a longer time and you get more brighter, sharper photos without handshakes and movements. Now for the main camera, if you see, the Moto G82 has more natural skin tone or more towards realistic color, whereas the Nord CE2 Lite was more towards yellow, warm colors, and you can see in these photos. But if you zoom right in, the Nord CE2 Lite looks a bit sharper compared to Moto G82. And the Moto G82 can record up to 1080p 60fps and OIS works at that mode, but this footage is in 1080 30fps and you can see the stabilization in both side by side. Also, Moto G82 has an 8 megapixel ultra wide angle camera which performs decent. You can take photos in good daylight conditions, but in indoor light and low light, the photos are soft. But this OIS really comes into play in low light conditions. So here you can see we took Manu's photo and the Moto G82 was much sharper because it can manage to let in more light because of OIS. Same with this parking lot photo. You can see, I don't know this car name, but it is sharper on the Moto G82. Also, you get a 16 megapixel selfie camera on both and both of them can record at 1080p 30 fps and in terms of selfies i felt the photos on the nord ce2 light was a bit more yellowish and also looked a bit dull whereas the moto g82 had a slightly boosted and saturated photos but if you zoom right in the photos on nord ce2 light are more sharper than moto g82 now software is where both the phones are really good in ad free software experience i'm glad it's still there under 20000 now both phones come with android 12 both have zero bloatware and zero ads now moto is stock android but you get some good features like of course 
Yes, chop chop to flash to turn on, turn off flash. Same, OnePlus's Oxygen OS also has some customization features where you can change icon shape and size. Anyways, if software experience is like priority in this price range, these are one of the top options around 20k. But one small thing, Motorola is promising one year of software updates and three years of security updates, whereas OnePlus is promising two years of Android updates and three years of security updates. Now, both companies are a bit slow in terms of software updates. Motorola is still catching up. Most of the phones from last year have received Android 12 update, except Moto H20 Fusion. So Moto users, Comment and let me know the status of software updates on your Moto phones. Now, those were the major differences between Moto G82 and OnePlus Nord CE2 Lite, but there are small things that you need to know before you buy any phone. Both Moto G82 and OnePlus Nord CE2 Lite come with a 5000mAh battery. You get slightly more battery life on Moto G82 because LCD consumes a bit more battery. You get 33 watt fast charging on both the phones. It takes about 1 hour 15 minutes to 20 minutes to charge 100%. Also, you get all the important sensors on both the phones. You get an NFC with the Moto G82 and you get 13 5G bands on Moto G82 and 5 5G bands on OnePlus Nord CE2 Lite. It shouldn't matter that much for the next two to three years. Also, you get 4G plus carrier aggregation on both the phones. I checked it with my GeoSIM. Now, before the conclusion, a small word on Snapdragon 695 and 2022 phones. The deal is most phones launched in 2022 is coming with Snapdragon 695 around 20,000, 15, 16,000. But Snapdragon 695 has some concerns. First of all, you don't get a 4K recording. You don't get HDR on YouTube. And all this chip shortage supply chain problems has led to smartphones being pricey and a little bit less value for money this year in 2022. Now, with the OnePlus Nord CE2 Lite, it's a bit of a dilemma. If it was AMOLED, I would have straight up recommended. But now, if you have a low budget and you need a OnePlus phone, Nord CE2 Lite makes sense. But if you want the best ad-free Android experience under 20,000, Moto G82 is priced at 21,499 with card discounts usually that last for two to three months initially. You can get it under 20,000. You get 120Hz OLED, ad-free stock Android experience, stereo speakers etc which is rare at this price in a single phone and for 20,000 it's a really good option if you're paying 21 499 I would say get realme 9 pro plus at 22 23,000 on that note this is Pratik signing off see you pretty soon pew pew